you know, I spent my whole life with health insurance via my mom and what she had through her job. So I never really had to think about what's gonna happen in a couple of years. 26 years old, it was like the countdown. No more health insurance. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna have to go and navigate this marketplace on my own. And so I end up opting for something where the premium got too high and too expensive for me to even afford with my job. And then when the contract work was up, you know, I didn't even think about how I'm gonna maintain being able to pay for, you know, the health insurance that I opted for. My mom, she was like, you know what, let's try thinking about Medi-Cal. Go and see if you're eligible, take that step. I went to the Saban Clinic, I met with a lovely woman there and she was very clear with me with everything and that day she was letting me know, yeah, you're eligible. Within the coming weeks, I got all my paperwork and everything that was assisting me in understanding what was available to me. Thanks to the Affordable Care Act, it opened the door for my peer group to have access to Medi-Cal in a way that we weren't able to have before. I want to let others know in my group, you know, that this option is available and it's something that is crucial and very important. I learned about this stigma that goes around having Medi-Cal. You feel like it's a step back but it's not because the step back is not taking care of yourself. The step forward is saying, you know what, I need help at this point and this is my avenue for it. To take advantage of that and to not be ashamed about it and to know that this is a gap and that it's not forever. That this is something where you, until I get where I need to go, this is what I need to do for now. I'm so thankful to be a part of this wonderful event and to be a part of an ongoing important dialogue about how healthcare can evolve to be available to more people and hopefully to all. This event, the 20th anniversary, is commemorating not just a moment in time, but many moments that have shaped Medi-Cal into the evolutionary program it has become. Today, I would like to thank LA Care CEO, John Backus, for this wonderful opportunity. And I also would like to thank HHS Secretary Diana Dooley and DHCS Director Jennifer Kent for being key contributors to the Medi-Cal Extension Initiative. In the words of Joyce Myers, I believe the greatest gift you can give your family and the world is a healthy you. And I believe that Medi-Cal program fully embodies this message. And it is my hope that more individuals like myself consider Medi-Cal as an option, no matter how optionless their situation may seem. Thank you.